What's happening? Welcome to Appreciate the President that play button. I am Willie William. Appreciate y'all for joining the player. That's what's happening. Um, click a link in the description, something like that. Please subscribe. Tell your mammy about it. Tell your pappy about it if you know his name. That's what's up. Look, we got some sugars up there. Hey. They say that um, folk been running around here. They said that there have been a string, uh, 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 a string of thefts reported at Central Ohio Beauty Stores. They've been running up in the beauty stores and things like that, bar and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, them, them, that, shh, they put that shit on y'all. Y'all running up, getting little pieces of items and shit like that. I don't, I don't know. They, 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 they uh, um, happy tax season. Them and them taxes right around the goddamn corner. And this shit transpired on February 19th. You mean to tell me get I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just let y'all see the story because I couldn't believe it. Mm. It here. And now they're asking for the public's help to find out who's responsible. NBC4's Eric Halpern is at Columbus Police Headquarters tonight. And Eric, police tell you these people are going after specific products here. Mark, police say these thieves are targeting high-end cosmetics because they are small, easy to put in a bag, or easy to put in your pockets, and they are expensive. Columbus police are looking to identify these suspects who they say collectively have stolen more than $10,000 in beauty products from Central Ohio stores. We do feel that these particular businesses are being targeted because these items are small in nature but carry a high dollar amount in value. Over the past few months, things like perfumes and makeups have been stolen from eight stores throughout Hilliard, Upper Arlington, Pickerington, and Columbus. Columbus Police Spokesperson Sergeant James Fuqua says some of the thieves are working together. It's definitely not cheap, and that's why we're asking the public for help. Norma Luis works at Hair Joy Beauty Supply in Northern Lights. Honestly, it really affects everybody. The pictures posted by police are not from her store, but she says it's hit on a regular basis. Is that with a mock shot? I mean, just think of it seriously. Police say the stolen cosmetics are likely being sold somewhere online or on the black market. According to a National Retail Federation survey, two-thirds of respondents saw an increase in organized retail crime in 2019. It really has a broad impact um, on the employees, the customer, and ultimately the, the bottom line of the company as well. I think it happens too often. Something serious needs to be done about it. And all those pictures... They got all them darky who folk up there and got one lady who sisters done joined the goddamn gang. They still too shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We just not gonna put it on them beautiful babies right there and the fellas that is running up in there that have been driven behind some coochie. Well, why don't y'all go in there and get it this time? Because, you know what I'm saying, they know our faces and our faces on the camera so they can identify us. So y'all take y'all little hot asses up there and steal some makeup and um, perfumes and all that fly shit right there. It's tax season. Oh, they did the delays on the taxes and stuff. I get it. So it's the government fault. It, 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 it's it's the IRS fault for setting y'all back. For setting all y'all back. And these things have been going on for a little bit, a little bit longer. And a lot of y'all quit y'all jobs. Like, a lot of y'all work like four to six months and shit. So y'all get, like, the most bang for your buck in tax season. So shout yourself out in the comment section if you was one of those. Like, you ain't going to let society use you. Like, work a whole 12 months and then file income tax to then get like two thousand dollars less you ain't with that stupid shit i feel you that's what's up but y'all baby babies they got y'all all well hell all years they got y'all with some real nice photos and stuff because for some reason in 2020 people still don't get that there's cameras everywhere i don't i don't know i don't know what that's about or should i say they know it's cameras everywhere and they just you know trying to borrow a little some so they can get what they need you know out out in the communities and stuff so they pay they got them bill because bills don't stop i don't know if you work or not it's a bill coming and if you don't know how to slay that monkey or slay that dang lane you ain't gonna be running up in the beauty stores um picking up small expensive items and stuff and selling them online on the black market hey y'all be careful like that listen it's fucked up right if y'all don't fuck around and file y'all taxes and shit before this hill, and then y'all get like incarcerated And then your taxes come, you're going to be mad here because you ain't like going to be able to cash it or something like, especially like you don't get like the direct deposit. You fuck around and get that goddamn check. They might send the shit back. Mama might fuck around and cash that shit at Lick Store. I'm just saying something. Man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with the player. Please remember to go to the Patreon, the Willie Williams Show. Um, yeah, and the Williams Show.com. Grab old t-shirts or something like that. Appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.